My brothers and sisters, there is a common expression that we hear when people tell us, don't sweat the small stuff, meaning don't worry about the little things in life. And even though this expression may run true when it comes to certain portions or certain parts of our life, when it comes to our taqwa, when it comes to our consciousness of Allah Azza wa Jal, then we as Muslims, we pay attention to the details. We pay attention to the small things. When it comes to being aware of our sins and our good deeds, we are very careful. And we pay, we pay attention to the small things. And this is why like Abu Bakr and he said, it is one of the most dangerous things, one of the, one of the worst sins we can commit is to take our sin and to belittle it. And if you look at the sin itself, a lot of times it's not just the sin, but the effects that sin has upon us when we begin to belittle that sin. Firstly, when we begin to belittle a sin of ours, what we will see happen is that it will become easier and easier for us to commit that sin. So if every time we commit a sin, we say, you know what, it's not a big deal, why worry about it? And if we keep doing this, we will see that firstly, it will become easier and easier for us to indulge or be involved in this. Secondly, the other problem of belittling our sins is that eventually, belittling our sins leads to a heart that becomes sealed. A heart that becomes hard. As Allah Azza wa Jal told us, رَانَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ That the stain has sealed their heart by that which they used to do. Meaning if we keep belittling our sins and we never make tawbah from our sins, we never seek repentance, that eventually a time will come when our heart will become sealed. As the Prophet ﷺ told us that when a person commits a sin, a dot is placed upon their heart. And if they don't repent to Allah, then this dot remains. And if they commit another sin, another dot is placed upon their heart until a time comes where their whole heart becomes covered and their heart becomes sealed. And the danger of a sealed heart <clears throat> is that a person with a sealed heart will not be affected by reminders. So a person may come listen to a Juma khutbah, they may listen to a lecture, they may listen to their friends or their family or someone, remind them of Allah, remind them that these sins that they're doing are dangerous, but they'll say, you know what, it's not a big deal. Or they'll sit and listen to reminder after reminder after reminder and it will make no difference to them. May Allah Azza wa protect us from having a sealed heart. The other effect of belittling our sins is the disappearance of modesty. So the more we indulge in sins and the more we belittle these sins without making tawbah, the less modest, the less shy we're going to become about committing these sins. And as the Prophet ﷺ told us, إِذَا لَمْ تَسْتِحِي فَاصْنَعْ مَا شئت. He said, if you don't have modesty or if you don't feel shy, then do as you like. Meaning if you're not ashamed to commit a sin, then what is going to stop you? Meaning you're going to keep indulging in this sin. And this is why this is a very, very dangerous position to be in. When we are committing sins and we don't care, and we begin to commit sins openly, and we sin after we commit sin after sin after sin, and we don't care what happens. And this is the disappearance of modesty when we when we stop feeling shy, we stop feeling bad about our sins. Lastly, the effect of belittling our sins is that the more we belittle our sins, the more we forget the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is why the scholars of the past they would say, "Don't look at how small your sin is." Rather, look at how big or how great the one is who you are disobeying, meaning Allah Azza wa Jal. Right? If Allah is important to us, right? if Allah is important in our eyes, we will feel bad about sinning. And this is why if you look at the example of a child, somebody who's maybe three or four years old and their parent tells them not to do something. So let's say a father tells their young child that don't write on the wall with your crayons or your markers or whatever. This child may not understand why that's such a bad thing to the child. It's a, it's a very nice thing to do, right? Creating nice pictures on the wall, that sounds like a very fun thing to do. What's wrong with that? But their father tells them not to do this. And this child will refrain from doing that, not because they understand what's wrong about this, but because 
in there in the child's eyes, their father is very important. And they know that if they were to write on the wall, that they would, that they would, uh, that they would be disobeying their parent, that they would let their parent down, right? That they would disappoint their parent. And this is why the child will, re will refrain from doing that action. Likewise, but Allah that Allah has the highest example. If for us, we really care about Allah Azza wa Jal, we're not going to look at the sin itself and say, you know what, it's just a small sin. Who cares? We're going to think about the fact that it is Allah Azza wa Jal, our Creator and our Lord and our Sustainer, the one who has given us every single blessing we have in this life. It is that Creator of ours who has told us to refrain from, this, from such and such matter. And so for us at this time, now this sin becomes very great. And this is why we as Muslims, we pay attention to the small matters when it comes to our Iman and our Taqwa.